Hi everyone, thanks for joining our channel today. My name is Taylor, I'm the owner of Active Grow, and here is our brand new T5 high output 2.0 horticultural fixture. We pulled out all the stops to redesign this fixture for use with our LED ballast bypass lamps. We do no longer see a chunky piece of metal. We see a beautiful plastic, super thin design that could be thrown up in a museum as opposed to a growing operation. It's gonna look excellent in our Walden three-tier tent. You can already see we have two of these fixtures set up. Super sleek design. They are very minimalistic and they, they are able to go right up to the racks so you have a, a large space to grow whatever you want. Orchids, microgreens, leafy greens, tissue culture, uh, higher output requirement plants like vegetative stages of uh, medicinal plants and, and so on. So the possibilities are endless. We're gonna do a quick unboxing of this fixture. We're gonna install our lamps and we're gonna throw it up in the Walden tent. We're gonna guide you all through it. We're excited you're here. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, we have our two by four foot box just about, and the label on the side is, you can see here, the T5 high output fixture with the Sun White Pro lamps. So we're just gonna get into the box. We have our lamps. So we have our four pack of T5 bypass ballast horticultural lamps here. So you can already tell this is a very thin box. It's a very thin fixture. We redesigned the fixture, which you'll see why in a minute. One thing to note is these fixtures do not contain a ballast, so they do not work with fluorescent lamps. So you want to use the sticker here that says not for use with regular uh, fluorescent lamps. You can stick that on the side just to warn people to not put fluorescent lamps in this fixture. But there you have it. So it's got the regular G5 tombstones on both sides, but you can see that this fixture is only one and a half just over that inches thick. So the standard T5 fluorescent fixture is gonna be two inches plus thick, much more thick than this because the older fixtures, they required a ballast. You had to have a ballast in the old fixtures, but with these ballast bypass lamps, we don't need a ballast anymore. So we completely redesigned the fixture to accommodate that. And this is uh, not metal. There's no metal pieces on it. It's all PC, polycarbonate. So much lighter than the regular uh, fluorescent fixtures. Another thing to note on this fixture is there is a dual on off switch. The one switch controls the outer two lamp holders and the other switch controls the inner two. For example, if you're doing vegetative stage, you want to use two lamps and then you want to do flowering stage, you, you, you can use all four. So this fixture, again, it weighs about six pounds, which is uh, much less than the regular fluorescent. I think regular fluorescents weigh about 20 plus pounds. So this is almost a fourth of that. And another thing to note, uh, you can see there is a port here for daisy chaining. So you can daisy chain um, at least up to four on 120 volts. I'll put up the numbers of different voltages and what uh, these are capable in terms of daisy chain. Now I'm gonna install the lamps. These are the Sun White Pro lamps. And they are 25 watts each. 25 watt lamps are going to replace the traditional 54 watt. T5 fluorescence, so it's going to be less than half of the energy use. So all these lamps are plastic, which is nice. If you drop them, you know, they're shatterproof. You're not going to get shards of glass flying everywhere. They're very sturdy and, uh, you know, able to, able to handle the rigors of a horticultural environment. Um, they're closed off on the end, so 
the water is going to have difficulty entering this this space, so you won't see any condensation in a in a lamp like this. And now we can put them into the fixture. The N and the L end are what we want to pay attention to when we install these lamps. We want them to face where the power is coming in, where the power cord is coming out of this end. It's going to tell you that here on the on the little sticker as well. So it's just like a regular fluorescent lamp in terms of how you install it. You just pop them in and then you rotate so that the diodes are facing towards the plant. So there we have it. We have our four lamps installed. Very simple, just like the tr traditional uh, style of installation, but you can see much lighter fixture much thinner we've cut out the ballast we've saved so much space that's why we figured we redesigned this thing entirely i'm just going to plug it in real quick so you can get an idea of how bright these are there's two in the middle and there's four on so that is a hundred watts of light being sh shown there you can see that the diodes are facing in the direction that you face them so we didn't need to have that uh, metallic reflector on the back side like we did for fluorescence because these are directional. Let's turn it off for a minute before we reinstall it in our tent. Another thing to point out is that there's waterproof covers on these on off switches. Now to install these into or this guy into the uh, Walden tent behind me it has a few options to do that. Two of these little hanging hooks that will hook in. And then you simply find which way the daisy chain is going. This way. So now we can simply plug this into our already powered fixture on the second tier. And there you have it. We have three tiers of grow lights. On the top shelf, we have the Sun White Pro lamps. On the uh, second shelf, we have our Sun White lamps. And then on the bottom shelf, we have our Red Bloom Pro, which is in the pinkish light you can see here. Well, that's it for our installation and I uh, hope it was helpful. If you have any questions for me, my name is Taylor and my email is taylor at activegrowled.com. We're excited to bring you know, solutions for people who want to uh, get with the times and what's available in terms of LED lighting technology and uh, some of our cool tents that we can provide as well to create a controlled environment for your space. So I want to thank you again and uh, until next time.